Welcome in everyone, I'm Dr. Jankovic, and this is episode 3 of Paper Hat Season 4. Today we start our episode here on my island. This is where my base is going to go eventually. It's a very large base, so there's a lot of preparation we have to do. So today what I'm going to try to do is right now we are at Y78. This is where sort of where you drop off at once you go to the portal here to the island. But I need it all the way down at 72, which I think is here. Yes, yeah, so 72. So we have quite a few layers of dirt on pretty much half the island that we need to take away. And obviously there's going to be stone under that too. So plenty and plenty of digging this episode, which is fine because I love digging. If you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you'll know that. In the last episode, we made this absolutely amazing chicken farm. It works fast enough. As we're grinding away, flattening the island, I imagine we're going to have a lot of spare chicken which is great because i'm always eating it seems like but that's not all we did last episode this entire island was covered in trees we chopped every single one of them and we even spawn proof the entire island it's really nice having such a large area where no mobs can spawn because you can sort of stay up all night except for phantoms so you can stay up for like three days at a time or something but just to prove it to you we have all this wood we have a double chest plus a little bit more i've turned a lot of it into charcoal so we can start smelting our stuff i've got some iron cooking and a lot of copper in there currently however i don't want to waste a whole lot of time because you clicked on this episode to see some minecraft gameplay which i totally understand but there is a little bit of more preparing that we need to do now if we're going to flatten an entire island this episode there's going to be a lot of pickaxe repair that needs to be done so if we can spend just a few minutes and line this tunnel with soul soil. I almost said soul sand, but I stopped myself. If we can line this tunnel with soul soil, we can zip right back to spawn and use the XP farms there. And in case you were wondering, I do in fact have a soul speed three book. In the last episode in between clips, I was able to raid a bastion and get a book. So we're all good there. The only thing we need now is the soul soil. Unfortunately, I know where that is. We're going to have to go to a very dangerous part of the nether. Fortunately, somebody has made some double doors here that you can get right out to the nether. Although the other day I was looking for a button and I just could not find one. There, there's no way to get back in. So... I put a button there for him. Anyway, let's zip right over to this soul sand valley and we'll see if we can get some soul soil. As you can see in my hot bar, I do have two stacks. That should be plenty. And the reason you need soul soil is because if you don't have soul sand, oh, oh, sorry about that. Skeletons are a problem here as well. But as I was saying, the reason you need soul soil instead of soul sand is because if you don't have soul speed, you're completely fine but as soon as you walk onto soul sand you're slowed down so anybody who doesn't have soul speed i don't want them to be very annoyed every time they go down my tunnel and one layer of soul soil later let's get that soul speed on our boots oh yeah that's more like it right there <laughs> Look at that speed. That was a job well done in my book. Let's talk about one more other preparation that I did for this flattening job. So in my inventory here, I set out to make a lot of shovels so we can dig continuously and not have to worry about repairing. And we ended up with four efficiency for unbreaking three shovels. I think this is very overkill. I don't think we're going to need more than three at most. But none of them have mending so in case it's not enough we're just gonna have to make another shovel and honestly can you have too many shovels but you know what i've procrastinated for way too long it's time just to break down and and get to flattening let's go
And just like that, we are done flattening the entire island. That was just over seven hours of work, so not too bad. But I'm really glad to get that behind me because now we can focus on getting resources and doing what we need to do to get this first build done. However, our next hurdle is gonna be dealing with this platform here. You see, a build is going to eventually go here in the middle of the island. I haven't exactly calculated the middle of the island, but I'm thinking it's somewhere close to here and I just don't want this in the way. So, if I'm thinking correctly, I should be able to move the portal to that furthest edge of the island over there, and that'll just mean I have a shorter nether tunnel. Which, early game, that's going to be really useful because we don't have to walk so far back and forth to spawn. And honestly, it's a good idea for me to run back to spawn anyways because I did manage to repair all my tools after all that digging at Dan's new double blaze spawner. I don't think I can show you that right now because I'm pretty sure it's spoilers, but it's underway. It's really fast and naturally that means that, you know, I was editing for a while, I AFK'd for a little too long, too many blazes spawned, so I had to chop a few more than intended, but that does mean I have 40 levels. The only thing I think I need is a better bow. This one has power 5 on breaking 3 and punch 1, but we can do much, much better. And if you haven't forgotten, we have the end trip coming up. So I want to be prepared for that, and I want to absolutely demolish the ender dragon. So I'll meet you back at spawn. All right, we made it back to spawn, and I know it hasn't been too long for you guys, but for me... It has seriously been a hot minute since I've been back at my starter area here. But I am just looking for string. And this place has failed me for string, so not too happy about that. But I did notice this painting here. I have no idea who's sticking these around, but I've seen a few around them. And I tried to walk behind it, and there's a secret room. I don't know. Shenanigans going on, I guess. If there's one place I know where string is, it's right there behind me. Oh, wow. Somebody's cleared this out, but it works. <laughs> there used to be almost three chests of string here. While I was down there, I checked the enchanting setup and there was no lapis, so I'm checking the zombie area now. And there's 16 lapis here, that should be enough. Oh, look at that, infinity. And it came with power, but we already have that. That was the main one I was needing. Uh, so now we just have to carry around one arrow or so. Make sure we combine that. And there we go, we have a really good bow. And here's the real reason we needed to go to spawn, obsidian. Half a stack should be plenty. Let's get that portal moved. I just double checked the direction we need to go and it is east. There we go, that does the trick. Very cool. And it works, it's hooked up correctly and theoretically we should be able to have both portals up at the same time so i don't know if this is any quicker than just walking over there but we're gonna find that out it may be useful to move all those items over here so since moving those items are gonna be painfully boring i think i'm gonna start up the stream over at twitch.tv slash dr jankovic and move all these items on stream it's just a mundane task that doesn't really fit in the video so i'm going to take care of it there but i'd love to have you over on twitch if you are a twitch user we do streams often uh mainly on weekends and we have a lot of fun i'll see you when i have all these items moved over and here we have it my collection of chests here look at how much dirt i have i have nine and almost ten double chests Eventually, I'm going to have a use for some of this dirt, but not nearly this much. So I've actually offered it to the other paper hats so they can get their terraforming jobs done quickly when they have a use for it. But honestly, I think we may just have a stockpile of dirt for the rest of the season. I'd be surprised if we managed to use this much. And of course, we have some other useful things like a whole bunch of grass blocks, cobblestone, stone and a few blocks of andesite and gravel. So we're somewhat organized over here. Like I said, we are gonna be living out of this chest monster here for a while until we get the first build up over there because that's where our storage system is gonna go. So storage system coming soon, but not right now. Similar to last episode, we're kind of already done with everything we needed to do way earlier than expected. So I think what we're gonna do is wrap up this video with a one hour mining session. I'll be right back.
And I'm back from my one hour mining session. Behind me is everything we managed to gather. It doesn't look like much, does it? Well, part of that is because I actually found a lot of redstone, but like I said before, we are keeping this redstone for when we go to the end dimension. That is stored XP. And you'll realize in the time lapse that we went to the nether for a while. We managed to get a few pieces of ancient debris or so, and we've actually got quite the collection going. Look at that. And since I need a ton of quartz for my first build here on the island, I went quartz mining to uh, get some more XP and We've got quite the collection here. I only managed to get like half a stack of blocks or something in that trip, uh, but it's coming along. But in classic fashion, let's go ahead and fortune all this down. And here's what we got, 24 diamonds. We got a little bit of gold, a little bit of iron, and some lapis. We were looking for that earlier. But of course, my main concern is the diamonds. We were running low actually, so it's, it's good to have a few extra. With that being done, unfortunately, this is all the time I have left for this episode. Guys, thank you so much if you made it this far. Remember to hit like and subscribe, all those YouTube things. And I will see you next time for episode four of Paper Hat Season 4. Thank you so much.